What's up, internet world? Since I've been to your loving baby girl, I've been popping, I've been rolling. Hello, guys. what is up i hope you guys are having a great day and today i'm going to be bringing you guys a makeup look i am going to be doing alexa demi inspired so let's get into it so i haven't done a makeup look in like literally like five months it's been a while i am just seeing kind of lies okay these low rise jeans on with this red belt I'm wearing this tube top, this mesh shirt, and then I have on some buns, which is kind of Y2K inspired. I just wanted to do little messy buns. This is my look today. I wanted to dress very colorful and just have fun with my layering as always. I'm gonna start off with moisturizing my face. I already washed my face and I kind of let it like sit for a little bit. And now I'm just gonna put on some Dove Beauty Cream and I'm gonna mix this with this body butter I like to use. It's um it's rose, so and I used to only use body butter. Well actually I used to only use this and then I used to only use the body butter and now I like to mix them together because the body butter is kind of thick but it does smell good and it's like super smooth. I feel like it's hard to rub in the body butter because it's kind of thicker. As you can see the consistency of that versus that but when I mix them together I can get the perfect consistency and it really leaves my skin feeling super fresh and smooth I don't have a ton of beauty products so I just like to use what I have like currently right now I'm not using any foundation I just like to use concealer on my face and I don't have any contour, but to practice some contouring, I like to use some eyeshadow for now. And I just really, really, really have to blend it good. I'm going to be splurging on makeup soon. So you guys can stay tuned for more makeup videos where I'm like really gonna be all put together and going all out. So I watched, um, I watched a couple of her makeup videos before watching this video because I didn't want to just go off like pictures of her makeup. Yeah, right now I am going in with my concealer. I am actually running out of concealer right now, but I like to put some concealer underneath my eyes and then right here. And then I do like to put some on my forehead, but I'm not going to do that right now. And I like to use a brush instead of a beauty blender. I also like to use my fingers and kind of pat it in and then go in with the brush and um, blend it all over my face because I feel like the brush feels so much softer and nicer. And I feel like it kind of does like blend better because with my, um, with my beauty blenders, I feel like it can pick, like kind of pick up and soak up all the concealer. But with this, I feel like it's easier to kind of brush from side to side and blend the makeup into my face. So I do like to use the beauty blender if I'll have some spots in my face where I feel like it's still a little bit cakey and it still needs to be blended in more. That's why I'll take the beauty blender and go in. Like right now I'm gonna go right here and make sure I really, ow, oh, I just poked my eye. I need to be more careful. Oh my gosh. Now my eyes watery. Okay. But yeah, I really want to make sure that I blend good because when it's not blended good, you can tell where I put my concealer at and where it stops and where it ends. And I feel like that was a big problem for me when I was doing makeup because it takes away the finished look. Like it just makes it look super unfinished when it's not blended properly and also when my makeup isn't blended properly all my freckles kind of get covered up more like they still are covered up but you can still make them out and see them when my concealer isn't very blended um you can't see them at all underneath so usually when i can see my freckles 
shine through more. I can tell that it's blended. And that's all I'm gonna put on for now. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my primer. So I put this primer on my eye. And I like to bring the primer out on the outside of my eye for when I do my wing. I do this because if I don't have primer on the outside of my eye, and if I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow wing, the eyeshadow is just going to be so much more faded and less tinted right here. So that's why I really make sure I put primer right there. And I also have to make sure my primer is evenly spread without and blended in because then there'll be some spots on my eye where the eyeshadow appears darker and some spots where it appears lighter. I again like blending this in with my brush. And now that this is blended in, I'm gonna go ahead and take some white eyeshadow. I like to do this for a first base and kind of just blending in my um, my primer even more. And I like to add the white on the top and on the bottom of my eye as well because it just like makes her glow. I've had times where I didn't blend out my primer properly and it would just be like hard and crusty and I feel like that is honestly one of the worst things to come upon when doing your makeup. I don't know why I'm talking about blending so much. Probably because that's what I'm doing. I'm blending and I really gotta remember that. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and start the eyeshadow, which is so much fun. Like, I love that Alexa Demi makes um, her wings with her eyeshadow. She kind of just like blends out the wing with the eyeshadow, which I love doing that. Like, it makes it look so good. And she does a really good job at blending it out too. Like, I feel like I might have to clean up mine a lot unless I really get the image of where I want my ween to go at. So I'm gonna go ahead and do browns because Alexa Demi loves to do browns because she likes that shading. So I'm gonna do that. And then she does like to add a pop of color. I saw she did that in one of her videos with Max. So I'm gonna do that. I might do purple or pink. Maybe I'll do purple because I'm wearing purples, but yeah, so I'm going to go in. I'm using this Jaclyn Hill palette, the palette I always use. And I'm going to go in with this lighter brown. It's called Perfectionist. And I really like to use this one when I'm starting off with my browns and I'm doing a base because it's kind of dark, but it's also kind of light. I remember in the videos, Alexa Demi says that when she starts bringing out the wing, she kind of like swirls it a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Okay, it's not looking bad. I feel like I always end up putting too much right here, which is my problem. And the brushes I'm using are also Jaclyn Hill brushes. I feel like the palette is really nice. I've honestly never watched Jaclyn Hill or even heard of her, but I feel like I've seen some of the Jaclyn Hill stuff on TikTok and the the eyeshadow blends like really nicely. Like it's been the best eyeshadow I've ever had. Like it goes on so nicely and I feel like it already blends super easy. If you guys are like first starting to get into makeup, I definitely recommend getting good eyeshadow palettes that way you have good eyeshadow that blends and make sure if you're not using like old eyeshadow because that's what I was doing when I first started out and using that old eyeshadow just like it just does not go good on it looks crusty and you never want your eyeshadow to look crusty girl so now I'm gonna go in with comfort zone it's the one right next to perfectionist and this one is just a little bit darker. I'm taking this smaller poofy brush and I'm going to go in with my crease on this side and make it darker and darken up this wing I was creating. 
I feel like I kind of went out too far, so I'm definitely gonna fix up my lines with concealer. Okay, so this is what I have going on so far. I feel like I definitely did it way too far up. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit darker brown. This one is called Thick Skin. I'm just gonna darken it up a little bit more around here. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go all the way in the crease with it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some white and I'm gonna put it right here because I'm going to make some glitter on top of this in the middle and also going to add my little burst of color. So, and I think I'm gonna go in with the bougie color the bougie glitter color as it's like a pink rose gold i feel like glitter makes everything in the look once you add the glitter it looks so nice now i have the glitter i'm going to add some purple and i also have a glitter purple too that i'm gonna put on I don't really know if it's gonna go on very well because I already have a lot on. So I think what I might do is take a little tiny bit of primer. I never would have thought that like browns and purples and golds would look good together but honestly it's like a super cute combination. I love purples and golds so it's literally I was gonna do like a lilac and gold sweet 16 party and i forgot about that till just now so i'm gonna start using those colors more i feel like it just looks so fancy like a dark purple with a gold or even light purple with like light gold i'm putting on some more bougie glitter i'm blending that in with the purple again so and now i have one eye just gonna do that. I have one eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then we're gonna put some concealer on and we're going to clean her up, make her look spotless. And then we're gonna go in with the ween, the brows, and finish off with the lips. Hey guys, so I kinda look crazy right now. Yeah, so I'm sorry about that. I feel like I blended this eye oh, 10 times better than blending this eye. So I've kind of been trying to make them look identical, but I've been kind of struggling with it. I'm gonna do the concealer though and see what it looks like after that. I'm first gonna go ahead and brush up my eyebrows real quick with this little spoolie. I'm just taking my concealer and then kind of going right underneath my eyebrows. I don't like to go too far low. I try to go as high as I can because I don't want to cut too much of my eyeshadow off. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this in. First, I'm just going to take this beauty blender and kind of pat it down a little bit because I like to get really detailed with it. I like to go in with a brush and blend it in. If I was doing a darker color, I would definitely take my makeup wipe and kind of wipe it off a little bit so that way I can get the clean cut that way. But I wanna use my concealer today because I feel like that's gonna make it look really nice and polished. And then I like to take some white eyeshadow and put it right here. And blend the part from where my eyeshadow meets my face. I like to blend that right there with some white eyeshadow now i have that that is what it looks like so far so i'm gonna do the my other mm -hmm. eye now because i'd be really messy with it i like to take a straight brush or i'm just gonna go in with this angle brush and take the dark brown i use and then outline this again one more time this is what it looks so far i feel like it looks a lot redder on camera for some reason. It does not look very brown. 
but I really like my take on it. Like, I like how it's like kind of bright colors. I'm going to do my liner, which liner is my favorite part because it's just what makes it look beautiful. So I'm taking this angle brush again. And I'm just gonna go up very lightly. And I feel like the trick to making it pointy is doing very light strokes because if you do super harsh strokes, you're not going to end up with a pointy edge. Your edge is gonna be kind of rounded out. But today I am going to put some white on white eyeliner right there and then I'm gonna take my black eyeliner where is she okay. that is almost empty and I'm just gonna put a little bit of black okay guys I'm being doing really bad right now I'm not even doing that bad I'm just being a major perfectionist and it's kind of sad because I hate being a perfectionist it looks fine oh my god my bun just Here. came undone Okay guys, I'm gonna do this other eyeliner and then we're gonna check back. We're gonna see how I'm feeling about this. And hopefully it doesn't look like a train wreck. Okay guys, I messed up a lot with this eyeliner. It does not look pretty. She's not cute, but this looks fine. And I'm just gonna roll with it because I've already tried my hardest and I've already tried my best, so I'm just gonna roll with it and make everything else look good. So, um, yeah, now we're doing the eyebrows and her eyebrows. She doesn't do her eyebrows. She just uses eyebrow gel and brushes them up. And I don't really have eyebrow gel. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to them and then brush them up. And then I feel like I got kind of messy with my makeup. I kind of feel like parts of it is all over my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on, like I already put on my makeup wipe on my face to get some of it off, but I feel like it's the makeup wipe just did not do a lot for me. So I'm just gonna go and put in some more concealer on my face because of that makeup wipe. And I'm just gonna do underneath my eyes and then I'm gonna do my forehead as well. Oh my gosh, it already looks 10 times better with this concealer. I also added some white eyeliner on my waterline as well. And I was freaking sweating, guys. Like, I've never been so hardcore. Actually, that's a lie. I always get hardcore. I get hardcore into my makeup, and then it makes me freaking sweat because I'm actually working hard. Like, I'm actually really trying here. And sometimes it's frustrating when it doesn't look cute and it doesn't look even. But we're gonna roll with it, okay? And the last thing I'm going to do is my eyes, my eye, my 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 eyelashes and my lips. I'm gonna do my lips too. I don't even think Alexa Demi curled her eyelashes in the videos I watched. So I'm just not gonna curl my eyelash. Also because I don't feel like getting up right now. I really don't. Um, and my eyelash curler is all the way across the room. Go ahead and apply this mascara. Ooh, sus! We love mascara. Mascara is a girl's best friend. How does it get better mascara though? My mascara would be kind of wacky. Ooh, I'm getting makeup on my face. No. Honey, right when I already put on the concealer again. Mascara I have sucks. It's not the best. I always like to get my spoolie. Where is it? It's right here. And with my spoolie, I like to fix my eyelashes and, you know, put them in their place so that way they look good together. And I feel like after a while, 
my eyelash my mascara will start running down to the bottom of my eyelashes and I have to like brush them out again and get rid of that clump but yeah that's what the mascara looks like take my Urban Decay mascara which I'm running out of and I'm gonna do this on my bottom lashes I'm using different mascara for this because I feel like this mascara looks a lot better but no one like really sees your bottom lashes until you do them and I think that's why I like to do them so much because it's like you don't have them and then you do okay and the last thing I have to do are my lips so I'm gonna go in here and I like to use a really dark pink um, I think I'm gonna use this one like a pink because I feel like that blends so nicely with my nude lipstick. I'm doing this because I don't have lip liner. I like to just outline my lips with some eyeshadow and kind of blend it in. I know you're probably not supposed to do this because who would put eyeshadow on their lips but it's the only way I can get the look I want okay and I really like to be careful I don't end up overlining my lips because when you do that it can look so obvious when you're using your eyeshadow I'm just like a hot mess, literally. Oh my god. So now I'm taking this like nude pink lipstick. Alexa Demi talks about how she loves to layer a bunch of lip products on her lips and use different color lip liner. And I feel like that's really smart because when you're using a bunch of different colors and you're blending and everything, it's gonna look like really nice and finished. I'm gonna have to pick me up some lip liner soon. And right now, I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna darken up these little corners where it's a, you can't really see the dark spots too much. And if you're like gonna be doing this like me and you're gonna be using eyeshadow, make sure you're cleaning off your brush afterwards because your brush will get really sticky and dirty and you just don't want to have to use that again afterwards. So sometimes I'll run my brush underwater, but I like to just do a quick little wipe it off with my wake up wipe and then dry it off with a paper towel and then I'll go in and wash my makeup brushes later. And I'm gonna add another lip gloss to it. So I found my other lip glosses. I found this darker pink, which I'm gonna put on on the out corners again. And then I'm gonna finish this off with this little really glittery lip gloss. Okay guys, I think I'm all done with my look. Honestly, I kind of feel cute. I kind of am vibing it. I feel like it looks like kind of natural, but also like it doesn't. I don't know. Like it's because of the eyebrows. It's the eyebrows that it's the eyebrows for me, honestly. The eyebrows, the, this just natural eyebrow look is just like really my favorite because it makes everything else just like, it's just so subtle, subtle and I feel like it looks good together. But yeah, this is my take at Alexa Demi inspired makeup. I feel like it turned out a lot more pink and red than brown. When I blended it, it just like completely changed the colors, but I feel like it does look cute and yeah it's my take on it maybe i'll do another take on another celebrity's makeup or maybe i'll do alexa dummy again when i get better makeup products but i hope you guys like this video make sure to subscribe because i'm gonna have lots of stuff coming up i'm gonna be having some outfit videos some sewing right now i'm hemming these pants and i think i'm gonna make a pants hemming video soon 
But other than that, make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm going to be having lots of fun things up. And have a great day. I love y'all so much. Peace out. I've been